Hey YouTube, it's Sean with Griffin RC Planes. This is video 2.5 and like anything they'll get better with time just like uh, when we all started flying planes you know practice makes perfect right? Hey yeah the objective of me putting out some videos is I want to show what I can't find you know like we've, we've all used YouTube for for help and advice and you know so on and so forth and, and if I can't find something and I've since figured it out th then I want to put it out there and that was how this all started with the NX8 radio how I got that red screen on it and let me go through that again real quick I saved up and bought the NX8 and the first thing I did was copy my well the first thing I did was uh, register and update it and then I copied all my, all my models off of a DX9 and I loaded them into the 8 with the memory card and you had to use a, uh, the memory card that adapts one down to the micro because they take two different size cards and I put the models in the NX8 and it crashed it and I got this red screen saying system fault and for days I tried all kinds of stuff to get it to reset I tried every combination of this and that and I couldn't get it to go and then just after fiddling with it you know I tried everything no battery with battery you know scrolling the wheel pushing this button just everything and then all of a sudden it timed out and the inactive alarm went off and the screen appeared so I I deleted the NX8 like back to fresh like erase everything you know, back to new well what did I do I stuck the dang models back in it from the DX9 and the red screen came right back so that's when I figured out what was causing that red screen so I just sat there and lo and behold five minutes inactive alarm the screen came back so I once again erased everything and this time I did not put the models in on the memory card and and then a couple weeks went by and I saw a NX6 for sale on on eBay for like 150 bucks or something and it had that red screen on it it said you know for sale parts repair got a red screen on it can't do anything with it so I bought it and I couldn't wait to make a YouTube video to, to try to show people you know give people some help you know I've gotten help from YouTube I wanted someone else to get help and uh, that was the first video I'd ever made and man I had my cell phone on a tripod and you know I'm trying this and that trying to record it record while I'm turning on the NX6 and stuff and and after about 50 different takes and and stuff guess what happened it timed out when I wasn't recording so I couldn't catch it on film so that's why I just said hey if you get that red screen just let it sit there and that and then the normal screen will come back and you can erase it all so that that was my first one my second one was just a little little short one to try to get, get a couple views and I want to show all kinds of stuff you know from, from re repairs to modifications to balsa planes to our, to our favorite foam planes from Horizon Hobby and E-Flight and FMS and all that and I'm gonna show you guys all kinds of cool stuff once I get better making these videos so I'm going to use the next few videos at, you know, as practice because it's a heck of a learning curve especially when you're not a big computer guy so cameras and, and editor and, and this and that it's, it's going to take some practice but here's a little short thing about what the first video is going to be about is this is a FMS Beaver uh, 2.0 meter wingspan it's a big plane I run it on a 6S 4500 60C pack that, that I've got from like Amazon. But I've done some, some modifications. I've, got rid, I've gotten rid of the, the multi um, servo connector, you know the board that comes inside of it that has the leads going up to the, to the wings where you can use the, the quick connect. And I'm still using the quick connects but I'm not using the board that it comes with so therefore I've got an 8 channel receiver in it and you have to rewire the the connectors the one in the fuselage and the connector uh, on the wing itself 
you've got to twist a couple of wires around to, to get it to work right. And I want to show you somebody how to do it. You know, several people, if, uh, if anybody needs help. Because these, these wing uh, quick connectors are, are awesome if you want to put them in a, in a different airplane. And uh, if you just buy them, you know, the, the all I got in my hand here, the, uh, the multi-connector system, if, if you just buy it and try to plug it up, you have to use the board to get it to work uh, unless you uh, rearrange some of the wires, which is easy to do. And I'm going to show you guys a quick glimpse on that, and uh, and then this will be a be a training video, and, and then maybe I'll do a couple more like this, and then we'll get down to showing you guys some hands-on stuff. So hey, thank you so much. I'm going to show you a few things on this, and uh, I'm going to hit pause, and hopefully I don't lose you. I'll be right back. All right, guys, we're back. This is my FMS Beaver, and I want to show you guys how to do away with the the wing multi uh multi connector system uh, that they, they call it the multi connector system fms it's got a part number of right here well see part of my learning curve fmm c zero n zero zero three and get rid of this board but still have the wing connectors which all right so you get rid of the you get rid of this board that would lead over to this is inside the fuselage and then this plug is in the wing and then they mount together see let's try that again there guys there we go so that thing's in the wing there and here's how I did it and we're going to go into great detail once I get this learning curve down a little bit so you can see that the board is gone and I've got a eight channel receiver with the safe in it and it leads up to I still have the multi connector I still got all that going on see I got to figure out the lighting guys so all that factory so, board is gone and then I've got servo leads on the other side of this for the wing so like I said let me let me get uh, get some more practice under my belt doing these videos and then uh, and then then let's do some builds and some modifications and, and let's help okay all right 2.5 in the books thank you guys so much